Now, for our next challenge, we're going to cut 90 millimeters. Ah. And here we are for a new challenge. Today, we're going to find out what the maximum cutting thickness is for black steel on our Forza 1 machine using the X compressor, which is also single phase and gives us a pressure of 12.5 bars. For this challenge, we're going to be working with our 1500 watt Forza 1. It's the maximum power we can use with a single phase powered machine, which is one of the features and advantages of this equipment. Likewise, we're going to be working with the X1 compressor, which is also a single phase, 220 volt electrical compressor and can provide us with a pressure of up to 12.5 bars. As we've mentioned before on this channel, the ideal cutting method for working with black steel or mild steel, well, it goes by several names, basically a 36 steel, is hot cutting. This means that the ideal assist gas for cutting this material is oxygen. However, there are questions. Many times people ask, what happens if I cut it with air or with nitrogen? And actually, yes, it can be done. With this machine, working with oxygen, I can cut through black steel up to one inch thick. It's crazy. Obviously, that's under extreme conditions, not ideal cutting conditions. But when I work with air or nitrogen, that thickness drops drastically. Today, we're going to find out, using compressed air, what the maximum thickness is that I can cut? Why is this so important? Obviously, because of the cost. Using compressed air is much cheaper than working with oxygen. And if my application involves thin sheets, it's going to be the perfect combination. Today, we're going to cut from 0.7, 0 0.9, 1.5, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. And just in case, here I have a half inch plate. The type of cutting we're going to do is called cold cutting because of the type of gas we're using, in this case, compressed air. By using air, we let the laser or the machine do all the work just with the power of the laser itself. The air only helps to protect the area and to blow away that melted material. That's why it's important that the compressed air we use is at the highest possible pressure. In this case, our X1 compressor gives us a maximum pressure of 12.5 bars, so it's ideal for working and taking on this challenge. In industry, we generally find a nominal pressure of 6 to 8 bars. That's why these compressors are special for lasers. Without further ado, let's start by cutting 0.7, and well, we'll see that with this thickness we can make some really fine details. The cut on 0.7 really came out with a perfect finish. If you get closer, you'll see that there's absolutely no burr at all. And the thin thickness is exactly what allows me to create small details. That's why it's ideal to work with compressed air on thin sheets of mild steel. Now let's see how it turns out working with 0.9 and 1.5. Up to 1.5, I can make cuts with air in perfect condition. You can see there are small details and everything comes out burr-free. This is the maximum thickness specified for the Forza 1, 1500 watts, that can work with air. From here on, the challenge begins. We'll start working with 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8 millimeters, and as we increase the thickness, it will get harder to eliminate 100% of the burr. So let's see how it turns out. We're only going to work with the U-shape now, without the details, because from here on it's going to get a bit more difficult. The cut at 2 millimeters really surprised me. I thought that at 2 millimeters we would start to see some burrs, but it turned out perfect. 
just like the one and a half millimeter cut. In fact, if you look, there are no burrs at all. That's why I even dared to add this little detail, which also came out perfect. So yeah, that's really what Forza machines do, they surprise us. Let's move on to 3mm and see how it turns out. And this is the result of the 3mm cut. Honestly, I dared to add the detail because I saw it was going pretty well. In fact, when we work with 3mm, we do get a small edge that, well, you can really notice it especially when you look closely and, of course, you can feel it with your finger. It's not a burr that can't be worked with. Obviously, when you compare this type of cut to working with plasma or oxyfuel cutting, honestly, this result is preferred. However, with 3 mm, we can't get a 100% perfect cut anymore. There's a minimal burr, I'd say the cut quality is at about 95%. And well, this is the result we have at 3 mm. And here is the 4 mm piece. I also dared to do the details because, well, honestly, it's not turning out that bad. But obviously we do have some burrs showing up, as you can see, a bit more noticeable, especially when I make small pieces, because, uh, there's more, uh, heat concentration. This burr, well, honestly, it could easily be considered a functional piece if we just sand it down or something, this burr could potentially come off, although that's not really the primary idea or intention, but well, for this particular challenge, it certainly meets the objectives quite well. Let's see what exactly happens with six full millimeters. Here is the finished piece. Well, it's still a little bit hot to the touch, but well, it's a decent finish. Look, if you see it from the front, you won't really be able to notice. Even the cut, uh, is relatively straight when it comes to the angle, but obviously we already have more burrs appearing. Uh, at the end of the day, well, if you ever need a piece like this, it's not ideal, but you could even use it. Honestly, I don't really dislike it at all. I see that it's actually a really useful piece, and I was even able to make a small detail that, well, has the exact shape of the figure, right? I didn't make it too small because obviously it would have melted, but this is the finish you get working with 6mm on a Forza 1 1500 machine. Now let's go with 8. We got it on the first try. I want you to see the finish at 8mm. In fact, from the front you can see the poor, the perfect figure, and the edge also really has, well, a detail, uh, that's perpendicular, with the characteristic lines of laser cutting, and overall, it's generally good. Here we can already see a considerable amount of burr. If you look closely, this is no longer typical of laser cutting. Obviously, well, we're certainly not looking for a finish quite like this. But now we definitively know what precisely happens if we attempt to cut 8mm thick black steel with the Forza 1. Fortunately, we also have 10 and 12, so we're going to keep trying until the machine can't cut through anymore. A 1,500 watt machine managed to cut 10 millimeters. The piece isn't even very hot, actually. Check out the finish on the piece. The shape is obviously perfect. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this kind of result. It actually took me a while to figure out the right settings for the power curve, the focus, the nozzle, and the ideal pressure. Obviously, we're outside the normal range, and if we wanted this piece to be functional, 
we'd need to do some post-processing like sanding or, well, somehow remove this burr so the piece can actually be used. I'm really happy with the finish on the 10 millimeters. I hope you all are liking it too. So, without further ado, let's move on to the half-inch 12 millimeter one. The half-inch piece comes out and as you can clearly see, it's also, well, in terms of its overall shape, it's absolutely perfect. The shape isn't deformed at all or, well, perhaps it doesn't even need an offset. That is to say, if we precisely measure it, we're really going to be well within a tolerance of 0.5 millimeters. Likewise, the cut is truly good, the profile, the hatching lines are even, well, they're really quite clean. We have a very good finish with very little tilt relative to the laser and obviously, here we already have a burr, which, in fact, is also affected by oxidation, but at these thicknesses, that's already normal. Well, uh, I had only planned to go up to half an inch, as you saw at the beginning of the video, but let's see if we can get 15 millimeters to really push it to the max and see at what point it can no longer cut through. This here, I really wasn't expecting at all. We're talking about 15 millimeters on a 1500 watt machine. Look at the shape, it's, well, Perfect, even the edges, the corners, uh, there's not too much heat concentration, so this could easily be a functional part if we do some post-processing to, well, remove the burr. What amazes me is that the cut, uh, here on the piece, if you, if we put it back, the offset is actually very small, meaning the laser is quite thin and doesn't leave a cut that's too wide. I didn't have this, uh, planned, so we don't have any more thicknesses left to cut. I could bet that at 20 millimeters we won't be able to cut through it anymore because right now we're working at, uh, pretty slow speeds. And this is the result of today's work. Thicknesses from 0.9 millimeters up to 15 millimeters. Really, something we hadn't planned. I want to make a few remarks. Obviously, this machine, by standard, only cuts up to 1.5 millimeters and, well, in today's case it would be up to 2 when the cut comes out perfect without any burrs, so that I can run my finger over it and not need any post-processing. This here is just an experimental video. We also have a video just like this one, but with oxygen, also cutting mild steel, and we managed to reach up to 25 millimeters. You can watch it on our YouTube channel, right here in the cards. Now, for our next challenge, we'll cut 90 millimeters, oh, of a 36 steel. No, there's no way we'll manage it with the Forza 1 machine, but honestly, today it has surprised us. Remember that we were working with our X1 single-phase compressor, and well, it's the perfect complement for this beautiful machine. That's all for today. Let us know what other challenges you'd like us to take on. Also, leave us your questions and, well, don't forget to subscribe to keep learning about the world of lasers. See you next time. Bye-bye.